Boom! We're on. We are on. Hello. How are we all? Um, it's good to be back. I missed you yesterday. I've been working so hard. There's been lots going on, but I I'm good. Everything's well. Um, I was just exhausted yesterday and um, I've just started this new job and there's so much to take on and uh, I was like, if I do a video, it's just going to be terrible yesterday. I don't know. That's the, that's the feeling. I had and I was like I, I want quality as well as quantity so I owe you a video that's the, that's a first off the bat so we're gonna have to have a day where we do two uh, there might be days where you get three or four who knows more will be revealed as they say but it's 96 days semen retention zero orgasms still retaining no wet dreams no hand jobs no hanky panky just zero I don't even know if he still works. More will be revealed. But um, I'm flying. Thank you for all the lovely comments about the fact that I uh, don't look my age. I am I am 41 and I'm proud of my age. Look at these whiskers, baby. Oh, ho, ho. look at them bad boys. Look, I tell you what, I'm growing him out a bit because I've turned into a Viking, but you know, Merlin would be proud of those. That's experience, you know what I mean? This, this is this is just experience, you know. It's you've got. I think, look, man. There's there's something captivating about owning who you are and being comfortable in your own skin, right? And that's what I'm here to do. Like, it's okay. Like, shine your light. We're all going. We're all. We, we, in fact, it, it's a privilege to get old. It's a privilege to be older. It's a pri privilege to grow. You know what I mean? Um. Enjoy it all. Enjoy it all. I'm in a good place. Spirituality, uh, appreciating the friends I've got in my life, the opportunities that I've got in my life. I'm swimming. I am swimming in opportunities. I'm swimming in miracles. I've just done a video before this video for my daughter. I just bought her. Um, I got this idea of um, I'm going to buy. I used to do this back in the day during COVID when I went over there, but now I'm starting it again. I've just bought this book, beautiful little book, and I've just recorded a whole video where I'm reading the video and everything, and I told her she can play it now any night she wants, and she can have a dada reading a bedtime story to her, and I said I'm going to do it like every week, one new book a week, and that whole week, then she can like, she can say to her mum, I want dada to read me a story tonight, and it'll be like, which one do you want dada to read, you know? These are the ideas you get. This is the creative ideas that you get when you're not trying to get your end away. You're not in addiction. You're not being selfish. You're thinking of other people. You're putting other people before yourself, which inadvertently makes you feel good. That's what we're here for. I say our, our superpower is service. But listen, I want to get onto the topic of the day. I've got this thing that I want to do. I've got the next 164 days planned out, okay? And what I'm going to do is I've got a feeling all you guys out there um, and girls, if you're watching, um, and the rest of you in between, whatever you call yourself, I don't know. I'm, I don't, I'm not trying to be funny. I know we've got people that are, they, what, what's the things? There's all different pronouns. There's all different things. I'm a bit of a caveman, you know. I just think we're all a bit gay. We're all a bit straight. We're all a bit bi. You know, what's that? We're just human, we're just monkeys, aren't we? Do you know what I mean? It's, um, but if you want to put a label on it, it's just words, it's just a sound. You know what I mean? It's just a sound, it's just a word, it's all made up. It's all made up, Portuguese, French, English. It's just a word. Don't give it so much meaning and attention. You are who you are, we're unique, we're all different. Get over it, get over it. We're all different, we're all unique. Don't worry about what anyone else says or what anyone else calls you. It's all about, if that bothers you so much, it's because of what's going on with you. And I'm talking to myself here, so don't get offended. I'm talking to myself. If I get offended by what someone else is saying or doing, I'm, I'm giving them my power, you know. I'm giving them my power. I'm allowing them to control me. I'm allowing something outside of myself to have an effect on me. This is the key, right? This is why we want to escape and do all these things like gambling, drinking, sex, drugs, all of it, all of it. Um, I'll be okay when they do this. I'll be okay when they use that word, you know. No, you won't. 
I'll be okay when I have that car. I'll be okay when I have this house. I'll be okay when I get that job. Yeah, for maybe about a minute or two, you will, yeah. But listen, um, I've got this idea. I'm a 12-stepper. Here come the 12-stepper. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I've got tattoos on my... I've got tattoos here. One day at a time, love. On, the, on my back, I've got the serenity prayer. You know, here... I've told you before, I've got GA, which led me to my higher power. Um, and I, uh, you know, I believe in God and the 12 steps. There are some people in 12 step that don't want to hear this. They usually are seat savers or, you know, um, no matter what, just don't drink or you know, the the militant, um, they, make, they make their own program up. You get all kinds, right? It's just like church. But let me tell you, the whole point of the big book, of 12 Step, is to give you a spiritual awakening. Bill, who created it, who created it from Ebby, Ebby brought it to him. Ebby was a man of God. Ebby was a Christian. Ebby, Ebby bought the from the Oxford group. Um, Bill watered it down Christianity, he watered Christianity down and um, he turned it into this uh, thing called Alcoholics Anonymous and it's it's there for you to get a spiritual awakening and I know this, it's not my words this is not my like, oh yeah this is what I think no this is true because on page 45 let's just go to it now, I didn't plan on telling you this but I like how things just work out when I'm just flying by the seat of my pants with this. On page 45, whoa, and I've got it bloody, look at that, I've got it, what do you call it? I've got it highlighted. It says here, lack of power, that was our dilemma. We had to find a power by which we could live and it had to be a power greater than ourselves obviously but where and how are we to find this power well that's exactly what this book is about i'll repeat that that's exactly what this book is about its main object is to enable you to find a power greater than yourself which will solve your problem its main object is to enable you to find a power greater than yourself which will solve your problem. So this is my idea. What I'm going to do for you guys and girls out there is this looks like a really big book, right? And it's called the big book. But actually... The book is only 164 pages. The rest of this, there's a there's a there's a there's a preface. There's like um, uh, there's a doctor's opinion, and then there's um, stories of alcoholics, like mini stories of uh, of alcoholism and addiction, things like that. But alcoholism in this one, there's only actually 164 pages of the big book, um, and that is Bill's story. There is a solution. More about alcoholism, we agnostics, how it works, into action, working with others, to wives, the family afterwards, to employers, and a vision for you. And that's it. And what I want to do, you see that there, from 1 to 11, the chapters, the contents. What I want to do is take you through it. If you're here on this journey with semen retention, you've got interested in my story, you're interested in me, I want to give you this gift for free. I want to I want to do a page a day. This is my idea. So I'm going to read a page a day and get out what I can of each page and see what clues are there for us as humans, as addicts, as sinners. And, and this book has turned people into winners, right? We know of people that have come into 12-step community and gone from sinners and become winners, okay? Let's see if I can help you help me. Um, and and get see go on this journey with me 
Go on this journey with me. If you're on this journey now, this is where I've got. I've, I've transmuted my creative energy. I have 96 days today without an orgasm. I've transmutated the sexual energy. I've become very clear about what I want to do. I have this massive experience in my life as a 12-stepper. I've been to thousands of meetings. Maybe the 10,000 hour rule. You know, they say you become an expert in something or a master of something after 10,000 hours. I've probably got very close to that in meetings or around around that in in that environment i'm working in a rehab now and i've done the steps i've completed the steps before i'm reworking the steps now i'm in it i'm in it and i want to share i want to share it because the best way to learn as well is to teach we all know this right we've all been we've all heard this before so help me help you so that's my idea. So starting from tomorrow, I'm going to be going through it. We're going to start with Bill's story, page one. I will read the page. I will probably give it, I'll make it interesting. I'll sing a little song. I'll tell a little joke. I'll tell you what's going on. I'll read the page and then we'll talk about the page. And then we can fire on the comments. We can fire. Just look at this coming to me now. We can fire on the comments about the page. Ask questions. Let's get it going on. Within 164 days, within six months, we'll break this down and we can tackle our addictions, we can tackle our problem and we can find a higher power. We can find a higher power that will solve our problem. This is a path to fill that God-shaped hole. So if you're struggling with porn, if you're struggling with relationships, if you're struggling with alcohol, if you're struggling with gambling, if you're struggling with food, if you're struggling with anything, if you have a problem, this book is going to give you a spiritual awakening and it's going to give you the gift which will help you fill the God-shaped hole that perhaps you're trying to fill with masturbating, sex with random strangers, sex cheating on people, telling lies, doing God knows what, you know, drugs. There's so many, whether it's medicated and abusing your medication, whether it's psychedelics and abusing those things, whether it's um, recreational drugs. They're all plant-based, by the way. Um, hey, if you're watching this, I love you. No judgment. We're all on this path. We're all sinners and we're all trying to be winners, right? It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a human condition. It's just a human condition. Own it. That's it. That's where I'm at. I own it. I'm very clear. I'm very clear. And um, we know what to do, right? We know what to do. We just keep moving forward. We dust ourselves off when we, when we fall down. Everybody does, but not everybody gets back up. And that's where we're different, right? We're gonna get back up, we're gonna get back on that horse, and we're gonna say, giddy up, yeehaw! So with that, vacondes, see you tomorrow, page one.